Hey guys, this is Brendan with Gone Mobile Vans. We're here at our shop in Costa Mesa, California. Behind me is a high roof extended 2023 Transit. We turned this thing into a monster adventure van. I can't wait to show it to you. So this is a 2023 high roof extended Transit. This is the 148 wheelbase. It's got the EcoBoost engine, which has got 310 horsepower and got 410 pound-feet of torque. It's a beast of an engine, tows, gets you out of trouble. It's a great platform to work on. Starting up front, we have the Illuminous Baja bumper on the front of this van. We did not go with the winch on this one, but we did add the front receiver so we can have either one of those hammocks or a bike rack mounted on the front of the van. It also gives you some front mounted recovery points if you ever need to get towed out of a tough situation. So for suspension lift on this van, we went with the Van Compass Topo 2.0 kit. This is their stage two kit. We've got a nice set of wheels from Hostel. These are the Rome 136 wheels. I really like how they look. It's a nice pattern. Doesn't look too aggressive or too busy, but they're a really nice looking wheel. We wrapped some Falcon Wild Peak AT3 tires on those rims and uh, really happy with the combination. And the size tire that we went with on this is a 245 75 16 tire, which is one of our standards. So for the rack on this van, we partnered with Illumines to come up with their new rack for the Ford Transit. This is a really low profile, full flat deck up there to walk on, and it has an integrated Baja Designs light bar in there. Really clean, nice lines on it, little drop front for the light bar is a nice looking solution, and it really lights up the road when you need it. So paired up with the roof rack is a Fiamma F45S awning. This is the manual awning, easy to crank out and set up. And underneath the awning, we've got a rigid industry scene light that'll illuminate your campground even when the awning is deployed. So on the running boards for this van, we partnered with Illumines as well. These are their newly designed running boards for both the Transit and the Sprinter. Really nice design, plenty of width to be able to give your foot a nice solid platform for stepping in or stepping out of the van. Really nice lines and happy with how they look. So this van did come with solid glass on the sliding door. It's a really nice solution, great from the factory. On the opposite side, we did add an AM Auto half slider window. So it opens up, you can drive with it open, it's got integrated bug screens. We always love those windows and really happy with how they look. So moving down along the van, we did go with the Flare Space Flares. These are color matched to the Avalanche Gray. This gives this van a massive bed system inside. It's 80 inches wide and 72 inches long. It's almost like a king size bed in this thing. So on the rear of the rack, we've got some Baja Designs S2 Sport scene lights. We've got two on the rear. We also have two on the driver's side of the van as well, but it really illuminates your campground quite nicely. You can even throw those on when you're backing into a campground at night as well. It'll really illuminate your way in. So for the tire carrier in this van, we went with an Illumines rear door tire carrier. This will hold your full size spare quite nicely. It doesn't fit underneath the van anymore. So this is a great solution for carrying a full-size spare with you. On the opposite side, we have the Illuminous Backpack product. This is the big mounting plate here, which allows you to bolt all sorts of different components to it. We've got one of their deluxe boxes mounted on here with a molly panel on the back. You can add additional things like more roto packs or trasheroo, things like that. This box opens up and there's a bunch of storage in here, ready to go, integrated, bolted in shelf that you can adjust the height if necessary compressor, firewood, recovery gear, whatever you need fits in here perfectly. So on the driver's side of the rack, we've got two additional Baja Designs S2 Sport lights up there. We also have a WeBoost antenna that is gonna increase your uh, cell coverage when you're out on the trails. We've got an aluminous side ladder paired up with our roof rack just perfectly. Really nice sturdy ladder to be able to get up on your roof rack. On the back of the roof rack, we have one 200 watt solar panel. This keeps the EcoFlow power kit topped up pretty nicely. In front of that is a MaxFan 7500K. It's the deluxe version of the fan, remote with uh, auto open and close. Really nice solution for getting some airflow in your van. In the front location of the roof rack is a Nomadic Cooling X3 AC unit. This is their 48 volt unit, which is brand new. And it also pairs up quite nicely with the EcoFlow power kit to provide a bunch of cooling capacity for your van. All right, so that's it for the outside of the van. Let me show the inside. So this van has got all the features. It's got the SYNC 4 HD display. It has a full-time rear view camera pointed backwards as well. So you've got 360 camera view when you're in reverse. On top of that, it's got adaptive cruise control and all the cross traffic alerts and sensors. Really nicely appointed. So for the base interior of these vans, we go with a sound deadening material that gets adhered to all of the internal sheet metal of the van. On top of that, we've got some 3N Thinsulate in all the cavities tucked in there. Provides a really nice insulating factor with both thermal and acoustic properties. On top of that is our standard wall panels with Baltic birch. They're quarter inch thick, wrapped in a nice marathon fabric. 
This is the charcoal color and it's one of our client favorites. Moving on down to the floor, we've got our composite subfloor in this van. It's three quarters of an inch thick of a composite foam and fiberglass, super rigid, waterproof. It's not gonna deform over time, anything like that. We've got a nice two tech two finished flooring on top of that. Nice texture, holds up well the dirt and mud, and we love how it blends with the rest of the colors in the van. So mounted right inside the B pillar of the van is our bamboo tabletop mounted to a lagoon swivel table. This is a trifold table. You can use it while you're here with a seat swiveled or you can even access it and swivel it and move it on the outside of the van so you can have some drinks, things like that outside as well. We also have a secondary mounting location on the storage box and bench seat area so you can move this over to your workspace inside the van if you'd prefer as well. So this is our integrated bench seat and toilet area. Um, made it up to it is one of these great lagoon tabletops. Once again, you can really open this up to have a plenty of workspace for working remotely, for having cocktails with friends, things like that. It can also reach all the way over and easily used by the front swivel seats as well. So we offer bench seat cushions for our toilet and bench seat option here. Clients get to pick their colors, their choices of fabric, things like that, and thickness of cushions. These are a three inch cushion and a nice sunbrella fabric. Really holds up well, waterproof, easy to clean if necessary as well. So this is our integrated toilet box. One of our most popular options is our wrap-on toilet integration. Really probably the best solution for having to use a toilet in your van is that wrap-on toilet. It's a really clean way to handle your waste. You don't have to go dump it out afterwards, things like that. It's a great solution. So for cabinets in the van, we, once again, we went with our Lost Highway Transit specific cabinets. These got bamboo doors with positive latching mechanisms to keep them open. There's plenty of space inside these things, uh, really robust. You can hang from them. One of the cool things we did in this van is we added an AC outlet inside the cabinet here for charging strips, things like that. We also have this WeBoost antenna mounted in there, so it's got decent range for inside use in the van. So this is our control panel area in the van. We've got our EcoFlow touch panel here where we've got full information for both input, solar, alternator, and AC for shore power. We also have our output controls. We've got six AC circuits and 12 DC circuits. The DC circuits, six of them are switchable, so you can turn on your ceiling lights, your porch light, your roof rack lights, things like that, all from this panel. It also comes with a really nice integrated smartphone app that it provides you all the same information. For the heater in this van, we went with a Wabasto STC 2000. These are great for the Ford Transit. This couple isn't gonna be going into high, really high elevation, so this works great up to about 6,000 feet. Wabasto is a super solid solution. It sips fuel from the gas tank and will run all night long on barely a gallon of gas. So for our high altitude customers, we have a different heating option. We've got the S-Bar, it's the new two kilowatt system that is brand new in the US from S-Bar. Same heating capacity as the Wabasto, but it will auto adjust its fuel to air ratio all the way up to 13,000 feet. So our galley in this van is a 32 inch doorway galley paired up with a nice isotherm DR85 fridge. This is the drawer style, really our favorite style of fridge, easily accessible from inside and outside the van. There's also a freezer in here so you can keep your ice cold and then your ice cream from melting. So above the fridge is our drawer here. This is perfect for your utensils, things like that in the area, in your kitchen area. Next to that is a switch for the gray tank. So you can flip the switch and drain the gray tank at an appropriate location. And the next switch over is for the 12 volt water pump, which provides water to the sink, to the inside shower and to the rear shower. On the top of this galley, we went with a carbonized bamboo top. This really pairs up nicely with the swivel table and the cabinet doors is on the upper cabinets. Provides a nice solution, plenty of space for cooking, for hanging out, doing some work here as well. We also have a very deep black stainless steel sink, which has both hot and cold water, drains directly into the gray tank underneath the van. On the face of the galley, we've got USB ports. We also have a 12 volt port here for other 12 volt accessories. And we have a household outlet here that is powered by the 3600 watt inverter directly from the EcoFlow power kit. Last feature in this galley is this door here that provides access to your plumbing. There's also a bunch of storage for trash can. I keep my camp stove underneath there. It's a great bit of space underneath the galley. 
for the bed system in this van, we have the Lost Highway tall fender boxes. Since this is the extended transit, we've got 72 inch long boxes here. So you've got a 72 inch long bed by 80 inches wide with the integrated flare space flares. We've got a Rome Rest trifold mattress on top here. This is their soft mattress. Our client uh, requested that specifically. Really comfortable and really easy to fold up and get out of the way when you need to. So with the bed panels fully removed, you got a plenty of space in here. You can throw in sheets of plywood, you can bring in bikes, whatever you need. It's a really flexible area when you need it. So for storage in this van, in addition to the upper cabinets, we also have the tops of both of the fender boxes. This opens up quite easily. You've got a ton of storage in here. This is 72 inches long by 18 inches deep. You got plenty of volume in here. It's mirrored on the passenger side as well, so you've got a bunch of storage in this van. So in this van, we've also got the Tetra van folding shower pan in here. This is a great solution for having a shower inside your van. This folds down, you've got your mixer valve and your shower wand, and we also got the shower curtain here. So here's the shower curtain all set up. It has the opening to the front side of the van, so when you're setting up, really easy to get in and out, get cleaned up really quickly sets up in just a couple of minutes and it folds up and out of the way when you're ready to be done with it. For the power system in this van, we went with the EcoFlow power kit. This is the five kilowatt system, provides a bunch of power. It's about a 400 amp hour equivalent. This will run the AC unit, the fan, the fridge, all that for a couple of days. The system is easily expandable as well. We can add additional five, potentially another 10 kilowatts in this extended van. So it's a really power dense system. On the other side of the van, we've got our 24 gallon wheel well water tank in here. Plenty of room for additional storage underneath as well if you wanna keep your fill hose, things like that in this area. All the plumbing is easily accessible, super easy to maintain if necessary. We also have this feeding the rear external shower as well. So at the rear of the van, we've got our rear shower. This has got a pull out shower wand and a mixer valve. So we've got full hot and cold water here at the back of the van. Last feature at the back of the van is this Lost Highway gear tray. It's about 48 inches deep, which still allows us to use a shower, and it's a full width gear tray here. It'll extend all the way out. Locks in the out position as well. We color match the tray floor to the van floor. We've got integrated L-Track for strapping things down or fork mounts for a bike, things like that. Really heavy duty solution for easily accessing, accessing your gear. All right, guys, that's it for this tour of this 148 extended high roof transit. We love how this came out. We're delivering it this Thursday and can't wait to show it to them. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our channel. We hope to see you on the next one.